the hard work of making laws in the State House takes place in the committees, and it's the committee chairmen who decide which bills will be considered for a vote. Let's spend five minutes with the chairman of the House Finance Committee, Representative Carrie Benninghoff. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Um, this is your first term as a chairman in the majority party. Correct. Last, last session you uh, served as a chairman in the minority. Can you tell me about the responsibilities and how they differ in being a majority chairman compared to a minority? Well, I think my staff would answer that very quickly and say <laughs> there's a lot more responsibilities. Uh, in the majority, you control the entire committee, what bills run, when they run, when you have committee meetings, whether you host hearings across the Commonwealth, and how many of those. And so a lot of it's a uh, balancing act, trying to uh, address the multiple issues that come in through the committee, the multiple interests within committee members, and interests within the leadership, and sometimes even the governor's office who needs something done through your committee. So it's a pretty interesting challenge, uh, but a lot different than being in the minority. And then do you have some guiding principles in how you want to run your committee when you have hearings and, and different things? Uh, that's a great question. As someone who uh, just knew as a majority chairman, it's been my goal uh, to try to have my committee meetings run as professional as possible. Uh, I've always been a very strong advocate believing that everybody has an opinion, even if I disagree with them. Uh, but the committee, as you said earlier, is a good opportunity to air those ideas, air those differences. And one thing I think I've learned in my tenure in the legislature is uh, that out of 203 members, there's at least 203 ideas. And it's important to list those, because sometimes you learn something from somebody else who has, lives in a different part of geography across the Commonwealth, who has had different life experience, or maybe a different pro professional experience, that can have an effect on a piece of legislation. And sometimes it might even sway your uh, vote on that particular bill. Now talk specifically about the Finance Committee and what types of issues that committee deals with. Well, oftentimes I think people confuse the Finance Committee with appropriations. They believe that we have the uh, state checkbook, and therefore we're going to be providing them with all the money that they need. Uh, we're more about tax policy and policies that affect uh, the spending of the Commonwealth. Uh, so we review old tax laws, make sure they're up to date, whether they're still appropriate or even applicable to today's society. Uh, we have other ideas introduced to us. As you know, Pennsylvania has only recently got into the gaming industry, and so there are policies that affect new industries uh, like gambling in the Commonwealth that would have to come through our committee. If you hadn't had it before, you need to draft those bills and those laws uh, to govern an industry like that. Some are through, done through judiciary uh, from an enforcement perspective, and tax policy and how those revenues would be spent are done through us. Uh, changing percentages or different types of taxes. Uh, we have lots of people who have lots of ideas on taxation. Uh, a lot of want to see them go away, but the reality is it's how we pay the bills of the Commonwealth. And what are some of the issues that you see coming down the pike here in the next year or so through the Finance Committee? Well, as with most government entities, people are trying to do more with less. And I take that as a challenge. Some people look at that as a bad thing, but I look at it as an opportunity to try to make ourselves more efficient. And I think we can do that, and I think we will do it, and that's one of the goals of our committee. Uh, more interestingly, I think as technology continues to change, uh, our committee specifically is going to be challenged with how do we compete in the world uh, with Internet sales. We have many local proprietors, we call them brick-and-mortar type businesses, who have to pay local taxes and workers' compensation and other business expenses who are forever being challenged by somebody who's able to make a purchase over the Internet for a couple dollars less. As a society, most of us are willing to migrate to the area where something's a little cheaper, not realizing the negative impact it can have on our communities until all of a sudden that business is no longer there. I think that's going to be a growing uh, and ever-challenging uh, issue for us to be addressing. And certainly always property taxes are a buzz. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that is an ever-growing issue, yeah. but that's kind of the proverbial <laughs> one that keeps coming back around. Right. Uh, I have many new members on the committee. We have a, a lot of new members within the legislature, about 110 just in the last six years, and so it's a process of having to re-educate people about what we have tried to do in addressing property taxes, uh, how we can implement controls on trying to keep the spending part down so the demand for property taxes is a little bit less, but trying to address that issue when economics uh, sometimes don't have the money to be supplying the dollars to um, provide every service some of the schools want to do uh, is quite a challenge. Property taxes probably gets most of the attention because it's that one bill that hits you right in the middle of the forehead at one time and is a very large amount. 
Well, thank you for taking time today to explain the Finance Committee and, and your role on it. Well, the good thing is there are public hearings and people can come to our meetings if they want to or watch them on PCN. Great. And if you have comments or questions about this or any other legislative topic, Representative Benninghoff's contact information will be on the screen in just a few seconds. I'm Laurie Bull. Thanks for spending five minutes with State Representative Carrie Benninghoff.